Hi everyone, welcome to today's morning report on Friday the 8th of January with me, Rich Perry Market Analyst at Antet Markets. Let's look at the European Treasury session, slightly higher at the open actually, um, and that has come about from uh, actions in China. Uh, China seems to be driving sentiment uh, on a daily basis now and uh, the uh, authorities in China removed that circuit breaker that um, was broken twice this week uh, on the uh, on the markets. They've removed it and uh, sentiment has slightly improved on the back of that. And also the PBOC has um, set the uh, midpoint rate for the yuan um, at a higher level for the first time apparently in nine days. So that has helped to support sentiment in uh, Asia with Asian markets higher. That filtered through to European session and we're looking much more positive. Um, sorry, wrong one. And uh, what we are seeing is this improvement that we're we've got on um, on market sentiment in that uh, safe haven trades are just unwinding. Really, you've got the um, U.S. Treasury yield on the ten-year slightly higher, um, again higher on the two-year, and um, you also got um, markets such as. Um, the yen unwinding that recent strength, also gold slightly lower as well. So these safe haven plays that have been dominating uh, in terms of gains in recent days have uh, unwound. Stock markets are higher, um, risk currencies are higher as well. A bit of a, um, it's a bit of a choppy move in the dollar in the recent days, but uh, dollar is slightly higher predominantly because the euro is unwinding lower after its big strength from yesterday. So, uh, it's non-farm payrolls day today, um, and the markets will certainly be concentrating on that into the afternoon. Um, there is a bit of volatility in front of the, uh, the payrolls report. That's a bit abnormal, actually. Uh, normally, we see markets fairly settled in front of the payrolls report, but obviously, there's a lot of volatility still playing out through these markets, so uh, we are still seeing uh, some strong moves today in front of the payrolls report, but certainly the, the focus will come on that payrolls report as we get closer to it. Um, what we have got is, let me just get the data up, non farm payrolls uh, expected to come in at 200,000 for the headline data. Um, slightly lower than 211,000 last, uh, last month and uh, also lower than the average, the 12 month average, which is around about 220 at the moment. So um, that is the uh, sort of uh, a slightly down, um, slightly um, moved down on that payroll support. But uh, I'd still think that that'd be seen as a fairly average payroll report. Um, markets will be f certainly focusing on other aspects in the payroll report as well. The unemployment rate is expected to stay at around 5%. Um, and uh, don't forget also focus on the um, participation rate as well. Labour force participation has been continually falling away. And that is one of the reasons why that unemployment rate has been falling as well. Average hourly earnings is another big one. Um, the uh, the expectation is for plus zero point two percent on the month, um, which actually when you when you drop out the December data last year, uh, I say last year, uh, two thousand and fourteen, which was minus zero point two, that actually means that average hourly earnings would increase on a year on year basis to around about two point six percent. So that would actually see uh, average hourly earnings picking up, um, which is exactly what the Fed wants to see as it's tightening. Um, because it wants to see inflation coming through um, and would be a confirmation of that move. So that would be considered to be probably fairly supportive of the dollar. If you Well, it would be supportive of the dollar if that's where, um, what we will see uh, this afternoon. So uh, I think it's going to be a volatile payroll support again uh, in terms of the reaction, purely because of the volatility in the markets. We have, um, I mean, for example, God, I've got charts all over the place. So VIX um, strongly high yesterday, wasn't it, in the States? So that would suggest um, there is a big element of, of fear uh, in the market. So investors sort of in the States going for their short uh, protection of their portfolios. And uh, that, I think, sort of reflects the volatility that we've got uh, today and uh, ongoing at the moment. So that takes me to my chart of the day, which is the Aussie. Now, the Aussie dollar has been falling. One of these risk um, sort of uh, aversion trades where the Aussie has been suffering from that massive flight away from risk assets. Now, it's back to this key support, 7010, uh, that key November low. It just intraday dipped to 69.80, but then closed bang on that uh, 70.10 and sort of has 
find found support again today. Now this would suggest to me that there is a this is a key key level. Um, if you saw a closing basis uh, decline through that uh, 7010 mark, I think that is a big um, deterioration in the chart because you'd certainly say the momentum indicators are sort of corrective. Slight uptick in the uh, in the RSI today, but certainly I think below 50. I think on this chart you'd you'd say you're still negatively configured, and uh, having broken that 70-90 um, uh, support yesterday of the December low, that becomes your basis of resistance. And again, yesterday, that was basically the basis of resistance yesterday. And early on today, interestingly enough, again 70-74, so not too far away from that resistance. Let me just show you the hourly chart. You can see here. That was uh, the old December low, became the basis of resistance yesterday, and um, I think that is a level that needs to be broken to the upside. You have already broken this downtrend, um, but there needs to be a continuation of this improvement. You've got the hourly momentum indicators, which are um, much more positive than they have been, certainly in January. Um, but again, just rolling over on that MACD, rolling over on the stochastics, RSI back sort of below the 50 mark so you need to see this uh, holding above um, this sort of initial uh, there's an arguably a small little base pattern there but that base pattern has um, been achieved on the upside target so uh, that's nothing to really write home about you'd actually say that sort of 69 80 measured up from 70 30 50 ticks 50 ticks up from 70 30 70 80 and what do we see as your upside 74 so five ticks away pretty much from the upside target so of that little base pattern so you've pretty much played that out so what you'd be looking out for now is this sort of consolidation to now find support around that neckline the old support became new resistance and then it becomes supportive again on a breakout so you'd want to see this finding support around these levels and if it does so uh, again, it would be around this uh, 21 hour moving average, which was a basis of resistance on the way down. It's basically there now, having turned up, it's on that support. So, this is a near term important level, 7025 area. So, watch out for that. But certainly, the improvement needs to continue. Otherwise, I think we could well see the pressure continuing to the downside, more pressure back on that um, key November low. And if it were to be breaking, uh, then you'd be looking initially down at 69.35, but more than likely you'd probably see a full retracement back to 68.95, which was the September low. So I wish you good luck in your trading on the Aussie today, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.